I've decided to replace this Honeywell thermostat with an updated thermostat, the Nest Learning Thermostat. It claims to pay for itself. We'll see about that, but we'll do an install first. And the first thing you want to make sure, and it says it on the packaging, is to in make sure that it's compatible with your system. So you go to nest.com slash works, and it takes you through a series of questions. I verified that this thermostat here is compatible, um, that the system is compatible, so we are going to go ahead and proceed. Installing this is not that difficult, so maybe plan on an hour or less to install it. You'll need a drill, a Phillips and flathead screwdriver. The Nest does include a screwdriver, but you may need a slightly different flathead and the drill with a screw bit to get it into the sheetrock. There's links in the description below for the tools and the Nest itself, but let's get started. Before you begin this project, you want to turn the power off to the furnace. You may need to turn it off at the circuit breaker. So attached to my furnace right here is the switch. And so all I have to do is flick it down and it will be off. Otherwise you can do it at the circuit breaker. But this is the uh, switch that goes directly to the wiring of the thermostat. So you may have one of these at your furnace or you just turn it off at the circuit breaker. Now the first thing that we're going to need is to remove this thermostat and it's actually very easy. Yours might be slightly different um, but this style you literally just put your hands on and pull the front off. That exposes some screws here. There's one there and one there and then you have the wiring. You're going to be using this wiring to hook up to the Nest thermostat. Now before you take off the wires, you want to take a snapshot picture with your phone of the wiring as it's attached to your current system so that it's easy to attach to the Nest system. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually undo the wires from this block here. And you will need a small flathead screwdriver to do it. And you just put it in you don't have to do much unscrewing because they're just screwed down. Now that these wires are off of this little wiring block, we can take out these two screws here. So before you go any further, you want to download the Nest app. It's, go, it's uh, downloading right now. It looks like that Nest in Lifestyle. I've now downloaded and installed the app and it wants to take a picture of the code that is on the back of the thermostat here. There's a code. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then it, it's supposed to help us with the setup. Okay, so just took a picture of the code and now this is linked to my Google account. And then now that it knows what it's dealing with, we're going to click start installation. And it wants to know what type of nest we're dealing with. This is a third generation nest. You know that because it has a blue level. And be sure to switch off the power. We already did that. So we already, I already know what the wiring was set up like. So this does not have a high voltage system. Loosen the screws. Okay. Do any of the wires have two labels? No, they don't. So we were using the green wire, the yellow wire, the white wire and the red wire. Label the wires as shown using the stickers in the box. Okay, we don't really need to because they're color coded, so we're just going to skip that part. Now, at this point, I skipped a step that I should have included in the video. 
The nest includes some stickers to wrap around your wires and it shows you which ones to wrap where. So I shouldn't have skipped this step. Go ahead and do it and then um, proceed. I still know, knew which wires I needed to do in which location, but for your sake, it might make it easier if you follow that step that I just skipped. Okay, now we are going to run the wires through this circle, and then we can attach with the screwdriver the thermostat to the wall. Now, because I have these holes right here, I'm going to fill those in later with joint compound, but it does provide an uh, option to have this bezel to cover up any of these. If you aren't handy to do that, you can install this, but I'm just going to be filling in those holes, so that's not a problem for me. And we are going to need a drill at this point. So the first hole that you drill, I'm going to keep this centered on this, right over this hole, so it'll be about there, and you can level it. So the first hole that you or the first screw that you put in, you don't have to worry too much about it being level so much, as, so much as you need to pay attention to, is it centered? And then the next screw. So that's perfectly centered and level. And now we'll go ahead and go to the next step. So these are little kind of push buttons. You push it in here and that opens up the slot on the inside and you just stick that in and it's wired. It's that easy. So let's go ahead and do the green now. And you want to make sure that these wires are more or less straight. White. And red. So this is where it was important to label the wires, but I already knew where they go. And then we'll just kind of shove those down like that. If you can make them go down the hole like so, that's good too. Okay, next we are just going to be placing the nest thermostat in place. So it needs to align with that part there. And once it does, it will just click in place like so. And we are connected. The next step is you want to turn the power back on. Once you turn the power back on at the circuit breaker or at your furnace, you should have this icon show up. It should power up. And I'm not going to go through the actual setup. It is very straightforward and simple. You just want to make sure that you have your Wi-Fi signal close by. And I kept at first I kept touching the screen. It's not actually a touch screen. It's a big button. So you just kind of push it and then turn the dial. The outside rim is a dial. Um, but I do want to share some information about using um, rebates on the app. I was looking at the Nest app and there's a section for rebates and discounts and it, you just type in your zip code and Nest finds any applicable rebates. So my power company, Rocky Mountain Power, has a $50 cashback uh, incentive for installing the Nest. And so this is already paying for itself. So once you install it, it's worth checking. And you can check ahead of time with your power company or your gas company to see if there is any discounts for uh, doing things like this. There are often uh, rebates that you get can get on appliances and all those things. So it's always worth checking out. I've, 
I've received uh, literally free refrigerators. Now I'm getting $50 back. You get rebates on light bulbs, free lights. Uh, it really is amazing, but the government really wants power companies to uh, put these types of rebates out. That's why they're available. So take advantage of them if they're there. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Now, because this uh, screw hole is visible, I obviously want to clean that up. So I just have a little bit of joint compound. And I'll be smearing into the screw hole and then I can paint over that later. And there you have it. It is installed. It looks great. Hopefully it saves me some money. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. But until the next video, thanks for watching and have a good day.